already flying in here already. What are you guys? Ah, I like it. I like it. It is so good to be back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for showing up. Hello, traders. It is Oscar Corboni. This is my 1,211th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. And we are here to discuss charts and where those charts should take our markets. This video is being filmed on Tuesday night for trading Wednesday, August 20th, 2014. As we know, futures trading can be extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. It's certainly not suitable for all trading accounts. Remember, a stock can be your best friend, but as we know, stops don't always get you out of trouble. Sometimes a stop can be overran, and it's not your best friend, but you should at least put them in, because on most occasions, when the markets are moving at a steady pace, a stop will help you out. On a flash crash day, I don't know what a stop's going to do, but put them in anyway, because it is better than trading without them. All right, traders, so, oh boy, I've had an unbelievable summer. Hey, you guys who know my little daughter, Olivia, my number one, Olivia made it safely to college. I set up her dorm. The first day she was there, she sent me analysis, and it was the low in the S&P the next morning. So she's already sending me her homework. You go, Olivia. Good luck, sweetheart. All right, so what is going on on the board for trading on Wednesday? We've got some topics. Traders. The dollar, the U.S. dollar, is still in a comfort zone or a safe zone, if you will. I'll show you a chart that should illustrate that. This keeps pressure on gold and euro. Expect both of them to probably head lower due to the upward, upward movement in dollar brings downward pressure on things like gold and euro. Lots of times the grains as well. In fact, when dollars moving up steady like it is, a lot there aren't many commodities that can go. If you ask me, that can go up because when dollars going up, commodities are mostly going down. That's the way it works. Now, if you get a commodity that's got a supply problem, yes, it could skyrocket. But as a whole, commodities get pressure put on them when the dollar goes up. But the dollar is still in a safe or comfort zone, so nothing to worry about there. And then it also propels the stock indices. That's what's wonderful about this strong dollar. So you've got a strong dollar, but still in a comfort zone, keeping pressure on gold and the euro. That also propels the stock market. That's a lot of good stuff going on out there. What's next? I have been showing you videos for at least 10 days, maybe 12 days ago. I started with these videos and I said this. After a dip into my OTAPMA, or the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, you can expect new yearly highs in your stock indices. Did we get it in NASDAQ so far? Yes, indeed. Are we going to get it in the S&P tomorrow or the next day? Very likely so. Rock and roll on the Omni. That was a fantastic call. Now, I've been gone for about 10 days taking my daughter up to college, and I did video after video telling you exactly this, exactly this. After a dip into Otama, new yearly highs would come. That's what we've had so far. That is very likely what we're going to get on the rest of the U.S. indices following the NASDAQ. Traders, I've got some very interesting charts I'd like to show you. I am so excited to be in my main seat doing all the analysis I'm doing. So let me show it to you with no further ado. Let's go look at some charts. Good evening, traders. Dow Jones Transportation Average. First chart I'm going to show you this evening. You have seen this chart in the last three videos, at least over the last 10 to 15 days. And I have specifically told you, do not fall in love with the downside, that after a dip into OTAPMA, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, a new yearly high is expected, like it did here, like it did here, and like we are going to get now. Very nice. Now, when I gave that to you, we were down here, traders. I'm not doing any backseat driving, right? This is no armchair quarterbacking. I gave you this down here. I called for new highs when all the lunatics were out there calling for the end of the world and for gold to go up. I said, forget that. Let's sell gold and expect this to happen. I've been steadfast for the last 10, 15 days about that. And look at what has been happening. So let's look at more. Very same chart. This is the exact chart I showed you days and days on end ago down here. And I said, look, proof. Dip into Otapma, rally to new high. 
Dip into a tatma, rally to new high. Dip into a tatma, shouldn't we get a new high? I've been saying this to you since we're down here. Look at how close we are. A dip into my otatma usually produces a new high. So here we go. Then there's the E mini S and P. Otatma, new high. Otatma, new high coming, right? Very, very nice chart here. The S and P on its way. That target has been sitting on this chart for 10 days. Look at us getting close to it now. Then you've got weeklies, traders. This is a chart I've been showing you month after month. Go back and look at some of my videos. It's the NASDAQ weekly. After it reaches a high, comes back down, it usually gets back to the last plateau, right? Does it again, reaches a high, comes back to the last plateau, like an even, and then it goes up. Gets even, and then it goes up. Does this again, when it comes down, it just gets to even, and then it goes up. Has a little one right here. Has another one here. Look, it goes up, gets back to even. So check this one out. We're here. It went up, it came back to even, now. New high is expected, like each and every one of these has produced. So, a lot of proof to show us that we should just continue on. That's in a weekly now. We've stretched out from the dailies to the weeklies. In the E-mini S&P, look at this weekly bar chart. I mean, this goes back to 2013, 2012 actually. And it has just been perfect inside of this channel. When you hit the bottom, you go for the top. And that's what I'm expecting here. And why shouldn't I? Then we look at... The Dow Jones Industrial Average on the weekly. A secondary Omni Average, not the Otatma. Look at how well this one has worked. If you dip into it, you get a new high, dip into it, new high, dip into it, new high, dip into it, new high, dip into it. What comes next? What do you think comes next, guys? New high. A new high. Look, they're paying attention. All three of you guys. Hey, very good, guys. Very good. <laughs> What's next? Gold trade is the dollar going up is putting pressure on things like gold. And now you've got the MACD, moving average, convergence, divergence, crossover. Right there, look at it. The gold should head lower. You've got this little apex inside of a major size apex. Why not drop down here? Gold needs a little, another 10, 15, 20 bucks on the downside. What is keeping all of this together? The dollar inside of a safe zone. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is your safe zone since 2011, traders. 2011, we were still in turmoil in 2011, remember? We had the crash down to 09, March of 09. By 2011, the world was still panicking. The dollar gets into this red channel, if you will, and very nicely gets above my Otapma. Once it gets above, it stays above, stays in the channel, stays in the channel, stays above Otapma, in the channel, above Otapma in the channel above, and then it gets below, but it stays in the channel. Below Otapma, can't get above. Hits again, can't get above. Tries it, can't get above, but stays in the channel. Hits it again, can't get above. This time, what does it do? It goes back up, hits it again, gets above it, and we start to take off. So we are in our safe zone. Now let me say something before we blow this chart up. There has been zero complaints about the dollar being too weak or too strong since 2011. Why? We've been in this safe zone. Have you heard any complaints about the dollar? Anybody out there, can you think of any complaints about the dollar being too expensive or too cheap for the last year or two? Absolutely not. Since 2011, it's been steady. So we're in our safe zone. As long as we stay inside this channel, this shows you that the dollar can make it all the way up here and still not panic the world, right? Let's blow this chart up now. Let me just show you what else is going on. Not only are we above the Otapma and in the safe zone, look what that really happened when it got above Otapma. It built one of those Oscarisms I tell you about, the F flag, my infamous F flag. And that's what it's done and it's broken out of that F flag and it's up here now. That's where it settled on Tuesday. So bravo for the dollar. What a fantastic performance. As long as we stay inside the safe zone, we should be just fine with our markets. So traders, you've seen the charts. You've seen my technical argument for why I've got this board all covered up with these letters, right? There's reasoning behind this. The reasoning is solid. So make sure you do your own analysis and see if it pans out for you. Now, Here's something that, uh, I don't know, how do I explain this? All right, I'm always truthful to my Omniac, so I'll just let it ride. I have an Omnicamp plan, September 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. We all know that, right? I've mentioned it a lot of times, but as you also know, because I tell you about my life in my videos, I've had some 
unexpected events take place up in New York with my dad's and in Long Island. A few things have gone on that has completely taken me out of my game. I ended up culminating this summer, the end of the summer, with bringing my daughter to college just a couple of days ago. And I've never bothered to call back my Omnicamp applicants to get them settled in so that they could show up for this Omnicamp. Now there's about a month, just under a month left, and I'm a little embarrassed to call anybody and go, hey, there's three weeks left, I want to come to an Omnicamp, so I think I might have to postpone it to like first week in November. I apologize to the gentleman who jumped right on that first Omnicamp ticket. I will do whatever you ask me to do. You come to the next camp, you ask for your money back, whatever it is you want. I am so sorry if I've caused you grief. My bad. I just didn't bother doing my normal and calling back my Omnicamp applicants and approving five of them for the camp. So at this point, unless three or more of you decide to call me now and say, Oscar, I'll still take the ticket, I'm likely postponing this camp. Likely it'll go out until November, so we'll see. The opportunity still exists for just another couple of days. If there are any of you who would like to join me, again, my apologies to you guys who filled out your applications. I've never done this before. I apologize, I apologize. But <laughs> if you do want to come out, let me know now. Otherwise, I'm going to postpone this Omnicamp. All right, enough of that. Traders, do not fall over with the downside no matter what happens. Remember, I've been telling you this all year. Don't listen to the lunatics out there who think they know that the world's coming to an end. They think that they know because there's a problem in Russia and some problems in the Middle East. Since when has there not been turmoil on this planet? It's always been, whether it's in Africa or the Middle East or in Russia or out of Germany, there's always been, right? Has that ever stopped our markets from moving along? So don't listen to the nuts who call the top because they think they're right. I at least have sound reasoning. I use charts to come up with this stuff. I don't ever use my own opinion. Don't listen to opinionated traders. Follow the charts because in these little bars that have opens, closes, and highs and lows, they can give you so much information you can survive the rest of your life on them if you handle them properly. So again, don't Listen to anybody. Follow the charts. That's all I do is show you charts. The rest happens by itself. Traders, I'll see you at LiveWithOscar.com. Thank you so much for welcoming me back. Thank you so much for putting up with me the last couple of weeks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you at my, at my site. Remember, always keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 